If you've been following this channel, you've seen plenty of my takes on different exercises. Squat jumps, battle ropes, and running are just a few. But stretching is equally important. Aerobic and strength exercises contract your muscles and put pressure on your bones. Stretching obviously stretches those muscles out, so you can engage them better during your next workout. A 2023 systematic review with a meta-analysis of randomized controlled trials clearly shows that static stretches improve strength and power. And another 2022 study shows that 10 minutes of daily stretching can, quote, counteract significant decreases in strength, flexibility, and jumping performance in response to a reduced level of physical activity. Basically, stretching increases your flexibility, improves your range of motion, and can even help prevent injuries. In this video, we're going to dive into the best stretches you can do to keep your body in top shape. So, grab a mat, find a comfortable spot, and let's get into it. Okay, the first one I love is the dead hang stretch. I have a whole separate video on it that you can watch. However, before you jump into it, know that dead hangs are great for certain conditions, but not for others. For example, dead hangs are sometimes used for shoulder impingement, rotator cuff injuries, and pinched spine nerves. However, people with hypermobility and instability in the shoulders or spine should avoid this stretch. But let's get into why I love the dead hang stretch. First, it's excellent for spinal decompression. Simply hanging from a bar allows gravity to gently pull your spine, which can help relieve pressure between your vertebrae. This is especially good for back pain or if you spend a lot of time sitting. Besides, dead hangs improve your grip strength, mobility, posture, and endurance, and help you gain strength for pull-ups. If you can safely perform dead hangs, aim to hang for 20 to 30 seconds to start and gradually increase your time as your strength and endurance improve. The daily goal, from my perspective at least, is two minutes per day, though some physical therapists recommend up to five minutes per day. Anyway, remember to keep your body relaxed and breathe deeply throughout the stretch. You can also play around with grip width and length position to target your muscles differently. For example, the textbook position is keeping your legs straight and hands positioned slightly wider than shoulder width. However, you can keep your knees bent and your arms twice as wide as shoulder width to see what happens. Then, come back here to tell me what kind of stretch feels better. The second stretch is called the Samson stretch. This one means getting into a lunge with your hands above your head. Your front leg should be at a 90 degree angle and your back leg's knee should be on the floor. So, here's why I love this awesome stretch. The Samson stretch targets multiple muscle groups simultaneously, so it's incredibly efficient for your hip flexors, quads, chest, and even your shoulders and back. Besides, the Samson stretch alleviates tension in your hips and lower back, which is exactly what you need if you spend a lot of time sitting. Opening up your hip flexors and lengthening your spine is how you promote better posture and reduce the risk of lower back pain. Of course, the Samson stretch also improves your overall flexibility and range of motion. To get the most out of it, focus on pushing your hips forward while reaching your hands as high as possible. You'll feel a deep, satisfying stretch along your entire front body. Hold this position for about 30 seconds, then switch sides and repeat. And this is the part where I include a plug, which is something I rarely do. However, you can check the link in the channel description or video description if you want to get more similar fitness advice from me, a real fitness trainer, but personalized and focused on your needs. Now back to the video. The third stretch I like and few people know about is the happy baby pose. Basically, you'll lie on the floor on your back, bend your knees, and grab the outsides of your feet with your hands. Your knees should be bent at a 90 degree angle and positioned wider than your torso. This move is great for opening up your hips and offering a deep stretch to your inner thighs, hamstrings, and groin muscles. You need all that if you have tight hips from sitting for long periods or from intense workouts. This pose also releases tension in your lower back. Gently rocking side to side while holding your feet massages your lower back against the floor. The result is you get rid of all built-up tension or discomfort in that area. Besides, the happy baby pose can improve your overall flexibility and range of motion because you can achieve greater mobility in your hips and lower back. And this type of mobility is essential for maintaining a healthy and active lifestyle well into your golden years. Fourth on my list is cat-cow because it's perfect for spinal flexibility, relieving back tension, and creating strength for beginners. Start on all fours with your wrists under your shoulders and knees under your hips. Inhale, arch your back, and lift your head and tailbone. This is cow. 
Exhale, round your spine and tuck your chin to your chest. This is cat. Hold each position for a few seconds, moving slowly between cat and cow for about a minute. Focus on deep, steady breaths to enhance the stretch. Cat-cow gently massages your spine, increases blood flow, and improves your posture. It's excellent for warming up your back before a workout or releasing tension after sitting for long periods. I also like it because it can strengthen your abs and lower back for certain exercises. For example, some beginners can sometimes not do squats at all because they round their backs too much. That's because of a weak core, both in terms of abs, lower back, and glutes. However, doing the cat-to-cow stretch for a couple of minutes along with 50 to 100 bridges per day can increase your strength immensely in just two weeks. That way, you can perform squats with the right form and progress to even more difficult exercises. The fifth stretching exercise I recommend is the butterfly stretch. I included it here because I think it complements the other exercises quite nicely. For instance, it specifically targets your inner thighs, which often get tight from activities like running or cycling. The inner thigh muscles are also among the first to lose muscle tone with prolonged sitting. To perform the butterfly stretch, sit on the floor with your feet together and your knees bent out to the sides. Hold your feet with your hands and gently press your knees towards the floor. This stretch improves flexibility in your groin and inner thighs, which is great for mobility but also posture. A tight groin area can make you bend or arch your lower back too much, whereas low inner thigh mobility interferes with your walking posture. Basically, this stretch is indirectly great for lower back pain prevention too. Hold the butterfly stretch for about 30 seconds, keeping your back straight and breathing deeply. As you exhale, try to gently press your knees closer to the floor to deepen the stretch. Don't forget that stretching should always feel good, not painful. Enjoy the process and listen to your body. Now, tell me what stretches you like most and why. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more fitness tips and routines. Check the link in the description for personalized fitness advice, and let's move this chat to the comments.